So, you want to know what the heck can I do with the shapes generator? Well, you did click on this, didn't you? Stick around, because I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Brennan White, and this is my channel, Haas Productions. If you're new here, we specialize in gear reviews, tutorials, and short films, so if that's something you're into, maybe consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you along. And with that, let's get right into it. So, as I stated before, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on using the shapes generator in a different way than you've maybe used it before. So, kind of to get started, you've maybe used and seen people do the shapes generator to create lower thirds, either like a rectangle or circle or whatever you're doing, but you could also do this. Mm-hmm, that's right. All done in post and all done with the shapes generator. Super easy to do. So basically we're emulating, emulating a kind of lighting effect you could do with a flag. This is a big Matthews flag. So you could do that on set, but I'm wanting to show you guys something if you don't have the means to do it, a way to cheat that effect. So let's jump into the screen recording and I'll show you how it's done. So this is what it's gonna, final shot's gonna look like, but this is without the shadow added so just kind of toggling that on and off but we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch i already did kind of a basic color grade um, you're gonna drag the shapes generator so i just went over to um, generators over here typed in shape there i'm gonna drag that down there so first off you're gonna want to go and make this a rectangle and then you're gonna to wanna to make that black and then no outline. And then, so we're gonna to start to angle it. I'm gonna kind of angle like that. Uh, let's see. So I have some dimensions set up and you don't have to go off of these exactly. This is gonna be different depending on your shot, but I have my scale at 800 which right now I know it's covering like all of the screen. We're gonna go over to effects here and same thing, just type in, start typing feather and it's gonna come up with this crop and feather tool, drag that onto there. And then this is where you don't wanna feather it to certain dimensions too. So I have it mine at negative 363.81. And then the height, I have it 12.01. And then the width, 189.78. All right, so then it's just gonna be a matter of kind of positioning where you want. And this crop and feather is just gonna make it without it you'll have that hard edge later in your shot. So that's there. And then as far as opacity, so I have mine at 84.99, but really kind of the main thing you're gonna want is just to match your shadow in your existing shot if there is one. If you don't, then it's just kind of looking at it and, and deciding what looks natural Bring it down there. All right, so now we can toggle it on and off. And I don't know if that's still up there. So uh, basically, then you just want to stretch it to cover your whole clip. And then you're just going to want to try to match that if you have a shot where it cuts it closer, like in my film, try to match your original wide shot. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that you learned a little bit more about the shapes generator. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you click that like button. If you super enjoyed the video, I'd love to have you along for future videos. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And until the next one, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.